Cooking up. Hi, this is Cooking Up. Today I'm going to make Sang Ha Min. Okay. So let's put some oil here. Yeah, I bought some uh, fresh water prawn, uh, Samha, uh, from Sabah recently. Um, one thing I learned is uh, don't defrost it too much because the tamari, yeah, the, the prawn egg will actually become more messy like this. So we put some oil inside here. And we are going to give it some ginger. Fried onion, you can use fresh, uh, uh, sorry, fried garlic, you can use uh, fresh garlic as well. A bit of uh, lean meat, yeah, marinated lean meat, marinated with a bit of soya sauce and uh, salting wine. Okay. The lower part of the uh, spring onion. Then I'm going to throw in my fresh water prawn. You can see the beautiful tamale here. I don't know how to spell tamale. If any of you know, can you put it, uh, uh, add it inside the, under my comment? Thank you very much. Okay, we actually we can actually let the fragrance of the 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 shell come out, and now we can actually add in the stock. I actually pre-made some. Uh, prawn stock just now with my leftover with my leftover uh, prawn shells yeah not this prawn but in, uh, the, the the normal prawns I'm adding some water as well all the while all the way uh, high heat okay Ooh, very very fragrant already All the way high here and now we can do some seasoning to this probably about one tablespoon of oyster sauce let's give it a bit of salt followed by sugar Okay. And now we can actually add in some veggie and you can add any veggie that you like okay so it's, it's really up to you I have some Chinese cabbage here so I use the Chinese cabbage You can use Kailan, you can use uh, Choi Sam, anything Okay So we are go I'm going to let it simmer together with the prawn for a couple of minutes and I'm going then after that I'm going to starch it and add an egg and pour it over my noodles yeah it's that simple we'll come back shortly all right this is after about uh, about two three minutes yeah simmering under high heat and let's see what we got Ooh, extremely fragrance, the fragrance from the tamari and everything. Okay, so um, let's do some final touch. Give it a bit of light soy sauce. Give it a little bit of fish sauce. There you go. Okay. And let's add in some more, some more uh, onion, spring onion. All right. So we are going to starch this. Ooh, extremely fragrant. We off the fire. Yeah. 
A safer way to start is always off the fryer first. You don't want too much starch. You're gonna do it nice slowly. Okay, just probably about one to two tablespoon, not too much. Then you want to add in, you give it some push. You can see it has darker, it has thicken up. Yeah, your sauce has thicken up, and you can actually pour in your egg. Ooh, okay. And you can see your egg starts to form beautiful smooth egg yeah this is the smooth egg effect that you want all right i usually don't like my dish to be too starchy so if you want to make it even more stickier it's up to you yeah but for me this is just fine uh, no rule in upper kitchen use anywhere you like you don't have to follow my way all right it is done and let me show you how to display shortly okay i here i have uh here a piece of a deep fried noodle okay so i just pour our sauce onto it yeah the the gravy and everything all right okay here's our sangha mi uh, if you like my video, do share on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page, click pop the like and follow button. And subscribe to uh, Cooking Appa YouTube channel. I have more than 150 videos there right now for you to uh, get your cooking ideas. And follow Appa on Instagram. Alright, thank you very much. Bye bye.